I'm the kind of musician that when I'm playing, like, I get into this conscious seat where I'll write and sing at the same time about whatever. And you can't edit that, can you? You can't edit inspiration if a tree calls out your name. Fucking write it till it's done. You know. So you can't, there's some things you can't edit, but we should also be allow ourselves the, I, the freedom to get into that. Like when we were playing before, this kind of meditative thing to allow ourselves to even say one word. Because the, the power of just saying one word in a song is relevant because you chose it and you chose to say it as the one thing for this song to say. So, as real estate, that song belongs to the song that you're playing and that one word. You know? But at the same time, that if you find yourself that you got the rhythm and everything's going, and it's just like, what I say, I don't know, there's a place I don't know what I'm gonna say, I think I'm thinking about flowers and candies and roses and shit. Uh, you got it. Yeah, you're already halfway there. And the, 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 the being able to have fun with that kind of talking and, and free spirit, you know, getting out there allows you to get into um, a rhythm with your tongue. Yes, very important. So, um, Shakespeare. Shakespeare wrote an uh, ionic pentameter, which means the last two lines of his stanzas were coupleted. They rhymed at the end. You don't have to have a formula like that. There are no rules. But I would caution that when we sing music, when we sing songs and we invite people into our space, that, you know, it's, uh, it's what comes out and, and uh, that really resonates with everybody. So it's important to choose what we say. If you have nothing to say, then maybe you do dubstep. You know, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm not not shooting a dubstep. I'm not dubstep. But um, what I'm saying is that if you are going to write, that remember, words are real estate. Don't use 17 words when you can really just say three. Mm. And if you haven't figured it out yet, give yourself the time to really, you know, be a good editor and to challenge yourself to say what you could say in in, in, this, in a sentence in two words. Because essentially, one word can say everything you want it to say. And uh, that, that's really a component. You can cite many examples, but I just wanted to, you know, just encapsulate the idea of the second workshop. You know, and uh, so, like I said. The kirtan, or like the whole song is just the, the, sac the sacred names. See, perfect. Echoes really latched on to that idea. And that well, if it's is, real estate, you're making a temple with the word, the song itself is immediacy of the experience of this. You, you see what's going on? You, you focused on that. And I get it, I because I, I know your soul. Yeah, and it's that idea of making this song sacred because you're you're, calm, you're, you're injecting and influencing the energy of, of the ritual. It's ritual. Yeah, yeah. And what I'm it's saying is like a mantra. It has its own words to it. Yeah. It's just the flow. I like, yeah, it's really I don't easy, see but the other one with all the coming together and well, and, and, and in longer songs, it's like chorus, it? like it comes back to something. It's not I like the whole thing is the know. mantra, where it's just like this, okay, sacred, and you just keep repeating it until you don't even like, it's just like, you know, like something kind of disassembles when you repeat it so much, you know what I mean? Like, like you're, I mean, I don't know if you can say anything about that, because I mean, you drive through modern America, and you, the real estate is all these ads, and you know, like this like broke, you know, and versus like the, the other the other side, depending on what, what you're attuned to, and some of the music channels. Well, I mean, you're absolutely right in the fact that when you say a mantra, you wait until the mantra says you. So what happens is that sometimes I have songs that you can say the same over and over again, and these things don't even become words after you say them so long. They're just syllables, and, and but there's meaning behind them. It's, that's the intention. Yeah, and you're so, projecting them out to people who are like, like, you want it to be digestible and easy, you know, so it's really a mirror, like also the mirror of who you're projecting or out with your real estate, you know, so that's just a really beautiful concept that you're always connected with who you're projecting out to. And just to touch on that, really, right away when we started singing by the fire a couple nights ago, um, so some coyotes or wolves or whatever came out and started howling with us right away, just whatever we were, just, just a little music and singing and immediately somehow, so it's, uh, yeah, definitely that projection, that sacred mirror does sing back to you, the mantras, you know.